Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Saturday the 26th. So yeah, this is for Saturday, January 26th. This is going to be for whoever it resonates for. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to go a little above and beyond today and just see, see whatever comes up. I'm going to use a couple different decks. So yeah, so for Saturday the 26th, let's just, what do we got for Saturday the 26th? What do we have for Saturday the 26th? Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid. It is because a lot of times these daily vibes, they resonate a couple days later for me. Sometimes it's right on the day, but uh, some days, it's, sometimes it's a couple days later, okay? We get one of these. Purpose. I know what I am here to do. Interesting. So somebody must know, right? You must know what they are here to do. Whatever. There's a purpose. There's a purpose. Interesting. Hmm. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Mm -mm. Well, we got two. And you know when that happens, there's no other choice but to use them both. So, um, we'll stick this one right here, I guess. I don't know if that can be seen, but whatever. Intuition, same kind of thing. I know. Intuition. Your intuition is guiding the way, right? You know what you got to do. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. You know what you got to do. Your intuition is telling you what you have to do. Whether you do it or not, well, that's up to you, right? Balance. Balance. Interesting. You got to be able to balance. Balance out a couple of things. Balance out a couple of responsibilities. Work on balancing. That's a good one. Now, when you have to balance something, there's obviously two, right? Or more than two. There's something that you need to balance. So, you got to be able to figure out how you're going to incorporate something a little bit better into your life or whatever it is I'm not sure purpose intuition and balance there's a reason why everything happens use your intuition to bring balance to a situation I don't know why I'm still shuffling these I really don't peace peace that's what I'm looking for peace Use your intuition. You know what you need to do to bring balance and peace back to your life. This is what you want. You want peace. Your intuition knows. If you don't know, find peace. Be silent so that you can listen to your intuition. January 26th. What do we got for January 26? <laughs> well, okay. So it looks like we have somebody that has turned down something. I'm not sure what this is. This is um, somebody who is very dominant, somebody that is very structured and organized, that is trying to dominate, take the lead in the situation. You know, this person is trying to be in control, you know, trying to do something. You know, this is the boss trying to you know, dominate, which is, but this one, his counterpart, these are soulmates, is not having it. No. Mm -mm. I mean, these, the, the Empress and the Emperor are soulmates. They are. But this one hasn't dealt with some pain yet. Of course she has not. She has not because she's in reverse. 
she hasn't she hasn't delivered the pain she's still in some sort of pain and she also you know she may not know what she's worth she may have a self-image problem or something like that or she might not feel like she's good enough or who knows what who knows what um, she also you know has multiple options the Empress in upright or reverse has multiple options and this one this one right here is trying to you know offer her something you know he's trying to take control of the situation and it's like she's she I don't know she's like saying she's not not wanting it no growth not allowing doesn't want to feel any pain yeah but this is a protector and this guy you know he may be saying that he's gonna protect her yeah that's probably the case anyhow um you know this is a husband then that's a wife it's a family man and this is a mother and she's holding a child. Oh, jeez, I'm girl. Now this, to me, and because this could be anybody, but to me, this is an Aries or a Capricorn or some man that is very, very dominant. It's a dominant masculine energy. This is a feminine energy, okay? This could be any sign. It could be anybody. But this is somebody that is very masculine, knows what he wants. I mean, this man knows what he wants, but she probably doesn't. She don't know what she wants because she's got so many options. Interesting. And this is a man on a mission. Like, yeah, definitely on a mission. But there's, there's those clinging to the past, clinging to the memories of the past. And look at this. The Knight of Wands too, Son of a gun. Action. I mean, act now, think later. It's like this person isn't even thinking. We have, we have a man by the looks of things, whatever, that you probably have known. I don't know. looks like that. You may already know this person. But it looks like this person doesn't want to let you go. I mean, they're coming. And they're moving. They're moving. They're taking action. They're speaking up. They're they're doing they're full of it. Okay. You got somebody here who is absolutely full of it. I mean, and this is this is the you know, this is usually the night that is very impulsive, very lusty, very um passionate. So this is the same person. I think this is the same person that is not waiting around, okay? This is like, I got something that I'm going to get, and I'm getting it, and he means business. Somebody is meaning business. Um, and it's somebody that you know. It is somebody that you know. I mean, this, that is the case. Six of Cups is somebody that you know already. Whether it's in this lifetime or not, it is somebody that you know that is, like, they have their mind made up. And they are going after something hardcore. I am taking the lead. I am the boss and I will be the boss. That's a problem with the Empress. <laughs> the Empress is definitely a, has a problem with that. Just saying. Anyway, um... <clears throat> You know she she can be selfish you know and she is very in reverse she's a very seductive so and this is a very seductive energy too it's like yeah you know what I'm trying to say it's just there's a lot of attraction here and this person sees it this person is like I got something for you Queen of Swords. I don't think so. Are you sure about that? Are you telling me the truth? Is this real? 
That's the sword of raw truth, right? And she's got the power in her hands. The power is in her hands. And she looks pretty content having that power in her hands, doesn't she? And she's really comfortable with her independence as well. Very comfortable. And it's like she can see things from many different perspectives. This is a pretty wise woman. Woman. <laughs> a pretty wise woman. She has a lot of life experience that has burned her in the past. She's been burned. She has. So now her guard is up. She's trying to protect herself at all costs. And therefore, it's like she has this new opportunity to have something new with somebody or birth of something new, but not allowing it because she's protecting herself. Mm-hmm. Not only that, she's wide awake. She is absolutely wide awake. She is wide awake. Oh, yeah. Ace of Cups reversed. Lost opportunity in love. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody doesn't think that this is love, right? I mean, the Ace of Cups reversed. It's like there's an emotional blockage here. Somebody is blocking love. They're blocking the offer. Look at this. It's like I want to. I'm trying to give it to you, and somebody's blocking it. Somebody's coming with the truth, and it's like no. Mm -mm, this is just some sort of test. This is this is not an opportunity that I can bank on. It's not anything solid. I don't see it as being solid. So somebody may decide to put it to a complete halt. This person comes charging in like wildfire, okay? And this one says, ha, stop. You know, I'm looking for balance. I'm looking for balance. I'm looking for... You know, somebody who's going to give as much as I'm going to give. You know, we got two sixes opposing each other. It's really a time of, of evaluation here, reevaluation of what is, and this is a card of peace and harmony, and sixes are peace and harmony too. So is this going to bring me peace or not? Is this going to, you know, bring balance to my life or is this going to hinder my success so it looks like somebody has to make some sort of decision as to whether they want to give any of their time energy um, thoughts whatever to a situation love mm. somebody's reluctant to move on somebody doesn't want want to transition they don't want to let go of something right they don't want to they don't want to let go now we have three sixes sixes are about reevaluation choices it's time to get your life back on track and there's an opportunity there is an opportunity here but there's also a lot of indecision as to What is going to be the best option? I mean, what's going to be the best opportunity to bring balance and peace to my life? What's going to bring balance and peace to my life? Somebody is absolutely taking action. There's no doubt. Very fast. Somebody's coming in fast to offer something. It's somebody that you know. It may get, like, stopped right in its tracks, okay? Like, right at the door. Because, you know, this person is very dominating, okay? Very dominating. And, you know, is that love? Is that love? I mean, being controlled, is that love? She knows better. So somebody may be saying, you know what, back up before you get hurt. That's absolutely the case, okay? Back up before you get hurt. Um, <laughs> that song, Dark Horse, 
that song Dark Horse by Katy Perry is like plaguing me. Um, yeah, somebody doesn't want somebody to leave. They don't want them to leave. They don't want them to go. Or somebody wants to come back. Or somebody wants to come back into somebody's life. I don't want to let this end. That's what this is. Somebody wants to come back. After there's already been a, a letdown, right? There's already been some emotional disappointment in this situation. And now it's like... They want to turn it around. You know, they do. They want to take control and turn the situation around. They've made some sort of decision. Somebody has made some sort of decision. I think they may have made a poor decision in the past, and now they're making a different choice of some sort. It's like I think somebody's life has absolutely been turned upside down, and they're seeing things differently. Jeez, some crow. Oh. The opportunity is like being lost, okay? Somebody is withdrawing emotionally, not offering their heart. And this one may be like a little upset, may be a little upset that they're not getting the emotional security or the emotional contentment from a situation. And they don't, they don't want it to, they don't want it to, to walk away. Somebody may be upset, somebody may be upset that... And they can't move on. Somebody can't move on from something. The past or the memories or I don't know what. Angry. Oh, oh boy. So somebody may, may be upset. Somebody may get upset that somebody won't allow them To move forward, you know, we why can't we move forward? Why why can't we move forward? I have this see, there's the hand, there's the pentacle. Why can't you take my pentacle? Why can't you take my pentacle? It, I can help you to bring balance. I can. But it's not love. There's no love there or something like that. It's not love, okay? Somebody has to make a judgment call about the truth this is an opportunity for some sort of reconciliation or resurrection of something that may not have worked out in the past there's a chance this is a chance to rectify it right to forgive or start over or whatever somebody wants to start over somebody wants to start over You're going to have to follow your intuition, seriously. This one, in reverse, maybe she doesn't want to be a mother. I mean, the empress is a mother in the upright. I don't, I don't want to be a mother. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to. You know, so, so I mean, that could certainly be the case. Um, I don't, I don't, and I'm not saying that you don't want to be a mother. I'm just saying it's just like... She, it's like she's not interested at, at this point, you know, or, or something has happened, you know, it's something to do with children perhaps, and I don't know. Thinking about walking away. This is thinking about walking away or thinking about coming back, or somebody wants to come back. They don't want to, they don't want to lose this opportunity, but I think it's already lost. I think it's too late. Um... Yeah, no commitment. No commitment. No commitment. I don't have any faith and trust in this. I don't believe that 
my intuition, my inner guide tells me that this is not logical, this is not solid and stable, that I can't open my heart to this situation, um, this is not practical, it will just turn my life upside down, and I'm still clinging to the friggin' past, by the way, so um, somebody is not opening their heart to an offer. And it could be because of the memories of the past, right? Now somebody doesn't want a commitment because they don't want their lives to be turned upside down. They don't want to make a bad decision. And I don't want to be controlled. And, you know, when you, when you let down an emperor who is used to being in control, what happens? He gets upset. So, I feel as though we have somebody that may take action, definitely going to take action and um, offer something. Somebody is going to offer something. But somebody, the person that's getting the offer may, may believe or may see that it's really not a solid, stable offer. It's not. It's not. It's not a solid, stable. It's not. It's not. Not when they're in reversed. So it's not a solid, it's not something we can save, okay? We can't save this. We, it's not going to grow. It's not. So it's like I can't, I can't, I can't commit to this. I can't commit to this because, um... I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. I mean, this is no fear. I have to be honest and truthful. Yeah, the Knight of Swords is very, he does what he has to do without emotion, without emotion. It's like I can't let my heart get involved with a situation that is unreal, okay? It's not real. It's not, okay? So it looks like this is just some sort of, um, I don't know, what the hell is this anyway? False contract. It is. It's a false karmic contract. It's not meant to be. And there could be a split on the horizon. Somebody is thinking about leaving it for good because they don't want to be smothered. They don't want to be controlled. They don't want, they want to be independent. They want to do things their own way. And right now they're reevaluating with those three sixes. They're now another one, four sixes. They're reevaluating their future, reevaluating their path. This is not going to emotionally fulfill me. This is not a real solid, stable offer. I know. I know, I know that it's not. I know. Deep down inside, I know. And therefore, they're reluctant to give to that situation. Whew. So let's do another one. We're going to get a couple of these and see what else comes up. What else do we got for the 26th? Ah, oh. this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And that's what they think, right? That's what this, this is where I put the card, right over here with this false contract. And that's what they think. Somebody thinks that you're the one. That's no joke. So, or you think they're the one. Some Because this is thinking. This is thinking. So somebody really, th but it's a false contract. So somebody may think that they're with the right one. I'm just telling you. Or that you're the one. Uh, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that is absolutely the case. We have somebody here that is more focused on their business more focused on their job, more focused on their money. And it's like, I can't 
I can't focus on love right now. I can't focus on a relationship. But what are you talking about? One more card. Oh. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. No joke. No joke. So you may have some... Oh boy. And at the bottom of the deck... It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe for you to love? Can you let your guard down? Can you? Can you can you let somebody love you? Or do you feel like you're not worthy? Somebody wants to come back into your life. This person could be the one. Maybe you have broken up in the past. And this person wants to come back. They don't want to let the love die. They don't want you to get into another contract. Because they know you have options. The whole world can see that you have options. Finances and career are definitely an issue. Not sure I can commit to anything at this time because, you know... Career is a big deal. I gotta shut my heart down, you know, to work on my abundance. So we have somebody who's shutting down emotionally, not really opening their heart, probably because of the past. You know, there's a lot of pain in that past. There is. I mean, this could be the past that hurt you coming back. Unless you're dealing with a narcissist, because narcissists don't do that. But we have somebody that may have shut off their heart that could be wanting to come back. They're going to come back and they're going to give you a solid offer. And it's going to just bring you peace and it's going to bring you balance. And you're both going to realize that this all happened for a reason. Now the judgment card is a card of forgiveness and reconciliation. When somebody comes with the truth, they speak the truth, there's an opportunity to forgive, accept, and reconcile. And here we have reconcil reconciliation. Again, I don't know if I shuffled. I did. Um, so, yeah, there's an opportunity. Somebody may not want you to move on. Maybe they see that you're moving on. I don't know. This could go so many ways. But we have an opportunity for a reconciliation here with somebody that you have absolutely known before. This person is about to take charge and he is moving fast. Very fast. It's probably a really good thing that he does. Anyway, I don't know who this is reading for is for, but whoever this is for, who and you know if it's for you, this person could be the one. We have Aries, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus over here. We have Libra. We have Taurus up there with Libra. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think we have everybody here. Gemini. Yeah, we do have everybody here, so it doesn't really matter. But there is somebody that is probably coming in with some communication. They're communicating. They're like flying in, like flying. Okay, they're flying in to speak up because the, the judgment card is, is truth, speaking the truth. And this is speaking the truth, and this is, they're, both, they're moving, okay? Somebody is taking a stand, for sure. I got to take back control of this situation, like, pronto. So I don't know who this is for, but somebody is wanting a reconciliation. <laughs> you can always see where the cards land with someone from their past. And you notice that thing just fell right over. I know what I am here to do. Somebody has realized that they ha they know what they need to do. Remember a few days ago we had, you know, I one of the readings was, you know what you need to do. Judgment is realized. Somebody realized. Somebody has realized now. So you could receive whoever this is for something. 
Th it feels like this person is moving though. They might just like come to your, come to you. You know what I mean? Although this could be text. It could be text. So, um. Anyway, I don't know who this is for. If it's for you, good luck. Good luck. <laughs>